Okay, so in this video here will just showcase some of the items that I carry in my survival kit uh, slash hiking bag that I use on day hikes and overnight hikes up in the mountains. Uh, I'll start off over on this side here. Uh, a couple different types of gloves. These here are your general alpine gloves here that I use. Uh, great for the snowy days. Um, so far they've protected very well against the uh, freezing temperatures. So I quite like these. Uh, these are just some thin thermal gloves here. I usually use these uh, if I'm uh, chopping wood or grabbing a hold of certain plants that have, you know, thorns or anything like that. They've also worked very well. Uh, we have some rope here. Rope is great. You can tie down your tent or uh, if you need to cross a river, you can use it as like a guy line. Um, that helps. So it's very important to carry some rope and also it's also very important to know different types of knots in order to secure items. Um, so this is also something I recommend to have in your kit. Uh, and we'll go here. This here is from the Survival Outdoors Longer. This is a survival blanket. Two-person survival blanket here. Uh, it's, you can use it for different things. You can use it as like a sleeping bag for yourself. You can use it as a shelter for other first aid purposes. Um, it comes with the directions. It even tells you other things you can use it for, uh, like such as like a ground tarp, even if you needed to. Um, what's really cool about this is the silver side here that you can see inside reflects about 90% of your body heat. And you can actually also use this uh, if you're going to be using it as a shelter. Uh, if you're in a desert or a hot, and a hot climate, you can reverse it. So you can put the silver side out and the red part here in, and that will help keep the shelter inside the shelter cooler uh, in hot environments. And then in cold environments, if you're using it as a shelter, the silver side will be on the inside to keep the heat in your shelter, and the, uh, the reddish side here will be on the outside. What's great about this comes in a Ziploc bag, and it is reusable, so I do recommend it. Uh, so that's that. Uh, rain cover, it goes over to your backpack. It is w somewhat waterproof, and you can also use it for other things, a hood or uh, anything you need to, but uh, you can definitely use your ingenuity and creativity to help you survive with a rain cover. Uh, a simple waterproof jacket here. Uh, wool toque. It's very important as you lose most of your body heat from your head, as that's where the majority of your blood is concentrated. Uh, here, this is a pelican case, just a very micro one. I don't bring this on uh, really a lot of hikes, but it's something that I recommend. You can carry certain things in there, like a mobile phone, and it will offer some basic waterproofness. Uh, we'll go down over to the middle here. Uh, these here, just in here, some emergency matches in a, uh, a carrying case. This here is my tinderbox I just created myself out of an old mint container and in here I carry some cotton balls and all I also carry a couple pencil sharpeners um, certain twigs and stuff small twigs that you can actually fit in here and you can twist it and it will give you wood shavings which you can use as tinder uh, so I usually carry this it's just one of those survival things it's nice to have uh, it's also very lightweight, this container, as it's uh, a lightweight aluminum. Carry a watch. Always carry a watch set to the correct date and time. Uh, this here is some food. It has a, It's dried food. It has a lot of calories and some protein. Uh, it's very important that you carry extra food. So if you're going on an overnight hike, it's important that you carry at least a day supply of food as well as water. Um, I won't talk much about water, but for water, the average person needs about three and a half liters a day to uh, achieve optimal hydration. Um, and that also, that, that um, variable goes up in temperatures. So the hotter the temperature, the more water and the more food you're going to need. Uh, here are just some medications. Uh, this one here is just some extra strength Advil and some Tums. Uh, I don't have these bags labeled, but I do suggest if you're going to have medications in your kit that you have them labeled with the medication in the bag, as well as the correct dosage and the maximum allowable dose that you can have per day uh, with directions for adults and pediatric patients. Uh, here's just some packaged peanut butter. 
this is just some emergency food, the peanut butter ball for uh, slight caloric, it has a, some caloric content which will help give you energy. Uh, it's very important that you stay hydrated and well fed as you burn a lot of calories when you hike. So in addition to these food, this food here, you can actually use these little packets of, uh, of peanut butter. You can also use jam or even honey. Uh, this is just a propane stove here. It's the MSR Isopro. It's an all-season fuel blend. It's fairly lightweight. And my cooking stove here just attaches to the top. It'll screw on. And if I were to actually screw it on, once it would be screwed on, it would sit here like this. And this stove here, it actually opens up. So these prongs actually fold in like that. So this, this stove here actually works really great. Uh, the prongs are open, you put your pot on, and then this here is your valve control to uh, increase or decrease your flame as needed or turn it off. And then once you're done, you just fold it up and you just fold the little prong there like that, and it comes in this carrying case here. It's not bad, it was only about uh, 40 bucks or so. Here's some tape, some uh, sewing needles, and some sewing thread. Again, you can use it for uh, to sew anything if you have a rip in your gear, your tent, your uh, clothing. You can even use sewing thread as uh, improvised sutures if you needed to. Just make sure you sterilize the needle with some rubbing alcohol or some flame. Here, this is a PLB or a personal locator beacon. It has different functions here. The first one is a flashlight, quite bright for daytime and nighttime. It's 25 lumens. And the second function here is an SOS function. So that works fairly good. And this just attaches to your clothing or any of your gear. Uh, lighter here, again, starting fires, anything like that. It's important to have one or two of these in your kits. Swiss Army knife, a spoon, kind of acts as a multi-tool. Something that you should carry. You should always carry a multi-tool or Swiss Army knife in your kits. Sunglasses. These here are some micro spikes. These little spikes here um, will be at the bottom of your boots and they actually help dig into the ice and uh, help you out with some traction. These are the Catulas and they were about 75 bucks. I highly recommend these. I haven't had any issues with them and they've, uh, they've held up fairly well. Uh, here is just my this is my larger survival knife here. This is my everyday knife. Um, this is from Winchester. And uh, again, it's pretty solid, pretty heavy, but it uh, will definitely do the job. And then I also carry a hatchet for, again, chopping wood or chopping down branches. This hatchet here is made by Gerber. comes in a sheath here. And it also has, in the handle, also has a little knife here, as you can see. Um, works all right. So I would recommend it. So those are just a few of the items that I carry in my survival kits uh, and in my hiking kit. Um, one thing that you don't see here, which I do have, is a compass. Um, make sure you do have a compass and appropriate maps of the area that you're going to be hiking in. Uh, this is going to be the just the basic first video of of some of the gear that I carry, I will be doing more videos on other items that I do have in the future. See you later.